Love you, baby, when you whining for me Just take time in a me, take time in a me Me no wanna shine at you when you pull up on me Some of you guys haven't seen me for a while on Instagram, social media. Uh, it's been like about a month or so. It's been a minute since y'all seen me, um, but I'm back. I'm back with another video. Um, I can't really say that this is a vlog. I mean, I guess it's a vlog, but it's not really gonna be Sorry, hold on a plane. It's not really going to be a vlog that you guys are used to. I'm not really vlogging everything I'm doing every day. I'm just vlogging this trip as I go, when I feel like it. And just giving you guys a, a life update on where I've been, how I've been feeling, what I've been going through. I'm here in Florida. I am at my best friend Bree's house. And it's funny because the first vlog I ever did, my Miami vlog was actually shot here where I was talking to you guys for the first time in my first vlog. I was sitting right over there. And yeah, I'm at her beautiful house. Y'all know this is my second home, my second family. And I'm just grateful. I'm grateful to have a place where I can run away to. <laughs> when I'm feeling overwhelmed in New York. So I'm gonna spend a few weeks here um, and then I'm gonna spend a few weeks at my grandparents near Orlando. So basically I'm out here in Florida for about a month. And you guys are probably wondering why I ran away from New York. Um, and I just wanted to be transparent with you guys because I believe that transparency heals and if everybody only posts the good things going on in their life and the successes and the flexing, like that's just not what life is. Life isn't always good vibes. Life isn't always um, success, you know? Sometimes people really go through things and they really feel things and I want to just be transparent about that with you guys because... I feel like I'm not alone. I feel like a lot of people go through what I go through. So, I don't know. I, I A lot of you see me as an artist and model and photographer. And I am all of those things, but I'm also like an empath and someone who has major depressive disorder. And I'm just a lot of things, you know? So... I guess I just want to let you guys know, like, I was diagnosed with depressive disorder, major depressive disorder, and it basically just means that I can go through the same thing that you go through, me and you could have the same trauma, but it will affect me 10 times harder, I'm going to feel it 10 times harder, I'm going to be 10 times more stressed, I'm going to be 10 times more hurt because negative thoughts kind of cloud my mental and I don't really have control over it. A lot of people like to say like, oh, you need to control your thoughts and just think positive and all that stuff, but that's just not how depression works. And anybody can be depressed. Everybody gets depressed, but there's really levels. And when you have a chemical imbalance and you lack certain chemicals in your brain to manage your emotions, that's when you have a disorder. That's when it becomes a disorder. So basically, I have a disorder and um, it gets really bad during the winter. During the winter months, I always tell people like when it's dark and cold outside, so is my soul. So I basically, and also like things can trigger my depression. Things can trigger me to go into a low, a low state. So I guess what triggered it this year around this time was me getting sick y'all know that wild flu was going around new york and i got it i guess i got the flu or i got 
uh, RSV. I don't really know which one it is, but either way, it was a respiratory respiratory situation for me, a respiratory virus, a respiratory infection, and I already have asthma. So uh, I basically got that um, in December, and <clears throat> it lasted for a really long time. I couldn't breathe. Um, my bronchial tubes got clogged up with mucus, a lot, a lot of mucus, and it just kept producing mucus, and it blocked me from breathing. So I was coughing up stuff for a long time, weeks and weeks and weeks. And honestly, when I get like that, it just triggers all these thoughts and feelings. The holidays were coming. Um, I couldn't be around anybody. I couldn't take pictures. I couldn't sing. I didn't know when I was going to be able to do those things again. And it just brought a lot of like worry and stress onto me about what I've been doing this whole year and how it's about to be a new year. And I just didn't know if I've done enough. I don't know if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing to get where I wanna go. Like, I just don't know. And I know a lot of you guys have these thoughts and a lot of us stress about these things. So I just came to Florida to really clear my mind, you know, like clear all these thoughts out of my head, start from scratch, Let the sun heal me, you know, and just let it all go so that I can come back to New York and get back to my grind, get back to my hustle, get back to focusing and doing what I need to do to get where I want to go, you know. And sometimes you just have to get away. Sometimes you just have to see more to be more. Sometimes you just have to change your environment and your climate. I know for me, when I get depressed, I have to really like place myself in the sun, you know, for the sun to heal me and just to snap out of it. I have to see something else other than what I'm surrounded by and what's stressing me out. I have to isolate myself sometimes. I have to distance myself and just get up and get out. And so I really recommend if you struggle with depression, seasonal depression, I really recommend that you just get up and get out. Like, even if you can't get away far, just get up and get out. Like, get out the house, get in the shower, get up and just try, just try. The most you can do is try, you know? People that really struggle with this, they know what I'm talking about and they know what I mean when I say you have no control. But what you can, if you, if you can control, you know, being able to get away, do what you gotta do, man. Do it for you. Um, part of my depressive episodes, I just wanted to let you guys know, part of my depressive episodes is like not wanting to be awake. So I sleep all day if I can. Um, I cry myself to sleep. I wake up sleep. I wake up crying. Like, oh, do you know how it feels to just crack your eyes open in the morning and tears are coming out? and you don't know why, you don't know where they're coming from. Like, it's just like a, a, a layer of sadness and like fear and stress every day, like anxiety. Um, so I cry myself to sleep, I wake up crying. I don't eat, I'll probably eat like one meal a day, if that. Um, I don't shower, I don't, I don't move basically. I don't move from the spot that I'm in um, for days. It can last for days, it can last for weeks. It could last for months. Um, recently, I went a week straight of just not moving, not doing anything, um, not being able to stop crying, not being able to, not even wanting to do the things that I love, mainly because I couldn't because I was sick, but like, you just don't want to when you're depressed. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to figure out anything. You don't want to, it's just a, it's just a, it's not a good feeling. And the people in my life, they wouldn't even know that I'm going through all this or that I'm doing these things, that I'm not showering and not eating and not moving and not going outside. Um, a lot of people don't even know that it gets that bad for me. You could call me and I'll pick up the phone and 
talk to you like I'm regular and like I'm okay, but I'm really not. And it just gets draining. It gets draining to hide that I'm that I'm dealing with this stuff. It gets draining to hide from my family and from my friends. So I just wanted to like be open about it because I know that I'm not the only one who goes through this. And you really have to just wait till it passes. Like you just have to wait till those feelings pass. You can't act like they're not there. You can't um, ignore them. You can't just think positive like it's really not that easy so the most thing that you could do is just acknowledge your feelings don't sit in them you're gonna sit in them regardless but like it's not about sitting in them it's really just about acknowledging them acknowledging how you feel um writing kind of helps but like i said when you're depressed you don't really want to do anything so but when you do get the 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 energy writing your feelings down really helps so I just sat here today um, it's January 12th 2023 it's a new year um, I've been out here since since Sunday or Monday today is Thursday and it's my first day really being able to just sit down start some yoga start working out and writing and I just wrote a little bit here about how I've been feeling how I feel today and the goal while I'm here in Florida so I think I'm just gonna share with you guys a little bit of what I wrote so how I've been feeling um, I've been feeling sick because, you know, I told you guys I got really sick and it lasted for a really long time. And that's kind of what triggered everything. It's kind of what triggered this slippery slope, this downward spiral of emotions and isolation for me. So I've been feeling sick. I've, I've been feeling weak, lonely, disappointed in myself and with others, stressed, lost, sad, heavy and overwhelmed and how I feel today I feel relaxed today I feel peaceful and I feel thankful I feel grateful I feel grateful that I made it out of that that season that I was in before I came here I feel grateful that I'm able to get myself away. I feel grateful that I have family. I have family in another state where it's sunny that I can run to and be at home. And I feel like, I feel more hopeful today. So, the goal, the goal while I'm out here is gonna be to wake up earlier in New York it was so weird like my first day here I felt myself trying to sleep in and not wake up because I'm so used to being in the cold and the dark in New York and not wanting to be awake so in New York um, I would try to sleep my whole life away and I would fight waking up because I didn't want to be awake and so my first day here I felt myself trying not to wake up and I realized, like, I'm not in New York. The sun is shining. I don't have to feel this way, you know? I can actually enjoy my day. I can actually go outside. I can actually breathe air. And so I had to, like, program myself to wake up and start the day here, you know? So I just want to wake up. I want to wake up earlier, you know? I want to pray more. I want to write more whether it just be my feelings or lyrics or my thoughts. I just wanna write, I wanna read. I brought some books here. Let me show y'all my book. So we're starting, I have like two books here. One is about healing and one is about atomic habits. Some of you guys probably seen this book. Some of you guys probably read this book. Shout out to Rena, she left it in my studio and it's fine now. So, 
Um, it says tiny changes, remarkable results, atomic habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. So, I told you guys I haven't had the best habits in New York. I've been sleeping my life away. I've been just not being my best self. So, yeah, the goal here is to just read every day. Read more, write more, pray more, wake up earlier. I wanna practice yoga and meditation because that's also something that helps me get through uh, my depressive episodes or my states, you know? When I come back to a more logical state, meditation is something that really like calms my soul and, and quiets my mind. So I really suggest that if you struggle with these things, you look into meditation. It's a really good practice that just really helps me. So while I'm here, I wanna really get get back into that. And yoga, because my body is just not used to moving. It's not used to, like my first day here, I walked up the block and my body was literally out of breath and my muscles just couldn't even walk. You know what I mean? My body's just not even used to walking right now. So I wanna do yoga to really like stretch and like just get my body used to moving again. And I also want to work out, but I have to take it slow because of my asthma and just recovering from being sick. I really got to take it slow. So I think yoga is going to be a better way to just get into that, get into moving my body again. And also want to network while I'm out here. So I'm going to spend time with my family, spend time with my friend, uh, my childhood best friend. But I also want to really network with my photography out here and maybe music too, you know. But I do want to um, meet people and try to book some shoots out here while I'm out here. So I already linked up with my aunt. Shout out to my auntina. She had me come to her hotel where her company is for a few days. And I met her CEO and I met the, photography for that com the photographer for that company. So I feel like I'm on a good start. And I hope that God just lines up people and opportunities for me while I'm out here and yeah that's basically it I just wanted to tell you guys you know I haven't been posting on my photography page and on my artist page in a long time y'all probably haven't seen me for a while but that's just what I've been dealing with sickness seasonal depression and I'm out here in Florida for about a month no I didn't move I am coming back to New York um, but I just needed to change my environment, free my mind, clear it so that I could come back to New York and give you guys more content and just do what I gotta do, you know? I hope that I articulated everything in a way that you guys understand. Um, I hope that if you have, you know, if you do struggle with depression like me and you have a chemical imbalance, feel free to reach out to me. You know, whether you know me or not, whether we're close or not, I'm here for you, um, you're not alone, and we can get through it together, you know? I feel like if people just stop focusing on trying to flex all the time and show the good things, I'm not saying to like show the bad parts of your life to people, but just be more transparent, like talk about it. Like social media cannot just all be about clothes and shoes and, 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 materialistic things i feel like we need to talk about the real shit with each other we need to be more open and mindful of each other and what you know life really is like and it ain't always dandies and roses kids it's not so yeah that's just you know a lot of people look at me and they wouldn't even guess that i struggle with this um because of the confidence that I portray most of the time, but it's just my life. This is my life. I have to live with it. I have to work around it. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I love you guys. Um, I'm gonna be basically just documenting my journey here for the month, you know? Like, it's not gonna be every day. It's just gonna be random days that I vlog and document what I'm doing. So I hope you guys you know, follow me, enjoy the ride, 
and be patient with me. And um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for uh, everyone and anyone who reached out to me during this time. And I thank you so much. You guys have no idea how it feels to be seen because a lot of my emotions come from feeling lonely and you feel like no one cares about you. You feel like you don't matter to anyone. You feel like you're not doing enough. You feel like you feel just not seen. And so when people can tell that I'm not okay and they actually reach out to check on me, it just means a lot to me. It means more than y'all know. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure y'all are reaching out to y'all strong friends. Make sure y'all are checking on each other. Make sure y'all are spreading love always, all the time, because you never know who needs it. You never know who needs it. And um, thank you guys for just following my journey. And hopefully, you know, I get a better mind out here and I come back with a better spirit to New York. You know, that's the goal. So I'm gonna start my day now. I'm gonna do some yoga, show you guys a little bit of that. I just wrote in my journal for the day. So I'm gonna try to start my mornings like that every day. Wake up, pray, eat, work out, write, in that order. So I'm gonna document as much of that as I can. And um, I love you guys.